Welcome back to another episode of Haddle for Boyfriend with yeah. Drunk Levi. And I wish I was drunk, Dakota. Welcome to Funked Up Gaming. <laughs> Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Myself. Oh, you get to make another decision. Talk to. San? His name is San? Talk to San. We get more coups. I don't I can't coup though, I can't roll Mars. I wonder where Okosan went to stomp on pudding. Oh. There you go. I haven't seen him since we stopped here. Oh, oh. It's not here. What? The pudding is not here. Still with this pudding. You chose this. <laughs> Ah, it's missing. Did you bring it to eat for lunch? No. Okosan believed that wonderful pudding could be found on hikes. You dumbass. <laughs> this has to be a joke. <laughs> this whole game has to be a joke. Is there a kind of pudding that lives in the mountains? <laughs> Mountain Pudding. It's the name of this episode. Mountain Pudding. Oh, God. A, wi a wild pudding has appeared. <laughs> Okosan will now search elsewhere for the pudding. What are you talking about? <laughs> and he's gone. What kind, what kind of pudding is he looking for anyway? What? Are you... Are you high? <laughs> Today is an elective day. What should I do? Oh dang. Attend. Attend? You can flirt with the math teacher. Or you can do jumping jacks. Or you can you can do more wagtail waltzes. <laughs> We're gonna go to the gym class. Okay. Oh fuck. <laughs> you got a feather? I don't know what that means. It's your thing. Oh, where do you see the feather? It's five out of six now. You've been four this whole game. Oh. Now, the second number changes all the time. I have no idea what the hell we're measuring, but you've gone from four to five. That's all I know. Okay. It's too hot. I feel like I'm going to have a stroke. Lovely. It's rehydration time. Okosan wants to go swimming. In, in pudding! <laughs> uh I leveled up again. Was well, totally leveled up. Vitality increased by five. Well, that's not as significant as. <laughs> uh, I imagine you're all well aware, but the sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Your mom. Oh, dang. Sports yeah. festival season already. I don't know if it is. If I were in the fall, yeah, if it, it would. If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival. So it's always been in May. It's May already. <laughs> and you, uh, what are you going to do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. God, oh, somebody has to. Every day is a three-legged race. <laughs> <laughs> Okusan will handle the marathon. Indeed, he will. You do have a lot of stamina, Okusan. What about you, Sakuya? Good. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> you can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It is a sports festival. Is there events that doesn't involve running? How about, oh god, how about being a cheerleader? The general. In other words, very well. Leave it to me. Does he, does he want to be the general? I guess. I don't understand. <laughs> um, I there don't you go. think that's... Also, 
The first aid team is always short-handed. I'm sure they could use help if anybody is still... If, if anybody still can't decide. That's all for today. Ryota's doing the three-legged race. Great, another decision. Okusan's running the marathon. And Tsukuya's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Yuya might be running the first aid tent. Who? What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Really? Who's Yuya? I think that's, uh... The math teacher? No, that's the, uh... The upperclassman bird. Oh, it's a sexy bird. Yes, yes. Today's the sport... Oh, wait, hang on. Wow, that's a sexy baseline. In the bird game. <laughs> I'm mildly impressed. Today's the... Wow. I'll have to put the audio in for this. There you Although go. it kind of sounds like something from Mario. Kind of, but... Okay. Now you gotta learn it. <laughs> Today is the sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Not participate. Go to the... House. Bathroom. <laughs> I'm going to the library. What? <laughs> Why is that... Option. You're gonna end up with Tongue Man <laughs> this rate. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to the three legged race. Okay. Oh, are you joining us? Oh, wanna run together? I haven't found a partner yet. Okay. <laughs> Get set. Sorry, enjoying I'd, the baseline. I'd like the the major scale run in that baseline. I'll let's just like it. Go! Ryuta's running for both of us. What? Pairing up a oh god. You know, I just came to realize that. You've basically tied a bird leg onto your leg and are <laughs> running a race. Pairing up a bird and a primate might have been a bad idea. We somehow came in second anyway, though. <laughs> if you tie a bird to your leg and you can't win a race against people that have their legs tied together, you suck. <laughs> we have brought honor to our class. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the first barrier for all students who make it this far, the midterm exam. We're getting them back today. Ah, I don't think I did too well. Yes? Hmm. I don't think you did too badly. Y yes? Not too. Hmm. Nope. Sorry. You did badly. No. Try harder next time, okay? No. <laughs> I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. No. <laughs> Quit flirting with your tongue, friend. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Now you have six! What is this? With the, <laughs> with the festival and the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Indeed. In the winter, like it is here. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. What? What, what you, Only you would know, wouldn't you? What are you doing sniffing the birds? <laughs> could you imagine... Just hang on. Could you imagine if there's, like, this bird sanctuary and there's this chick constantly running around pretending she's in school <laughs> smelling birds and tying them to their leg and running down the track with them and smashing them into pudding and stuff and making, like, her own crazy narrative... <laughs> That, oh my that, that god. That would make this game make a lot more sense. <laughs> it really would. I'd, I'd be a lot more entertained. 
as well. <laughs> if uh, oh, if it really was God. a bird or a, a little girl. Oh, Jesus! You know what? Okay, go ahead. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Apparently, smelling bad. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? He's kind of high pitched and whiny. Salutations, Wolf Tully. There you go. That's good. Brian won the seventh Pulitzer. What? Must be nice. A Pulitzer? Seven Pulitzer prizes? It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. What? Brian? Somebody's fuck. high as fuck, is all I got to say. Don't tell me you don't know who he is. Nope. I think I've heard the name, but. He's the world's most famous blogger. He got Pulitzer Prizes for blogging? What the hell? That's the future we're going towards, man. Blogs. I don't think that... Oh, just just go ahead. Just... He began. It's, it's going to be a bunch of Bud, or BuzzFeed articles everywhere now. Getting. I think it's already become that. <laughs> I think the birds are already writing BuzzFeed articles. <laughs> he began when birds were barely intelligent. 17 birds that you might not think smell bad during the summer. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very skilled and insightful writer. Oh my god. He was the one who says, or suggested double Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. How does he write? He didn't have thumbs. I guess he could peck with his beak on a keyboard. It would take him all day. He's an extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Of course, you know what happens when you put a thousand pigeons into a room. After a while, the right Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go looking up right now, mon ami? Hey. Try Googling Brian Pigeon. Googling? Okay. Brian Pigeon? God, could you hit a little more on the nose? Okay. I guess we're going to Google this random-ass bird. Don't be Googling birds. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's next? Nothing. An empty box. Okay! Uh-oh. Lunch is nearly over. Adieu with Tully. Guess what else is over? This This series. episode! Yay! This series? Not this series? We haven't found our pigeon senpai. Okay. That's it for this episode, everybody. Um, love you guys. Bye! Bye! Thank you.